Hello there everybody, welcome to BB11. This time we got five votes. One more than last time. Thank you to the one extra person that contributed to the voting. Honestly, it really means a lot to me that. Let's start with the immunity token vote. Abby Kidabi and Hello Kitty both got zero votes. So they're completely ruled out of this one. The four contestants left all got at least one vote. Let's reveal which one got enough for the token. Smurf was the one who had two votes, so Smurf receives the immunity token. Commiserations to Pillsbury Doughboy, Clarence the Clown and Baba. One more vote would have guaranteed them an immunity token. Moving on to the elimination vote. Abby Kadabi, Smurf and Baba all received zero votes, so they're all safe. It is between Hello Kitty, Pillsbury Doughboy the second and Clarence the Clown. The elimination. Let's reveal the votes. Clarence the Clown is eliminated with three votes. Hello Kitty and Pillsbury Doughboy survive with only one vote each. But who even is Clarence the Clown? Who are you, Clarence? Before I send you away, I'm going to find out who you are. Clarence the Clown was originally referred to as Laffo the Clown. A Laffo first brought parade viewers a bucket of laughs in the 1940 parade, having been recycled from the previous year's Tin Man Balloon. The balloon once again returned in 1941, now undergoing a name change to Clarence the Clown. Clarence was sponsored by Macy's, designed by Tony Sarg, manufactured by Goodyear, was 57 feet high and required 5,000 cubic feet of helium to be inflated. 1941 marked Clarence's final appearance in the parade, as it was one of the five balloons to be dismantled and donated to war efforts for World War II in the form of 650 pounds of rubber. 75 years after the balloon's retirement, the balloon would make a cameo appearance in the 2016 Ghostbusters film, appearing as one of the haunted balloons, alongside many other early Goodyear balloons, such as the Hair Inspector, Pinocchio, Little Man Big Man and Morton the Nantucket Sea Monster. So yes, Clarence, or Laffo as you should be called, it's time to send you away. Right, two things to clarify here before we end the episode. The original recording I did for the wheel spin was an MKV file which I can't put into Sony Vegas. So as you can see, the wheel landed on group 22 and I feel like that should be the group that's up for elimination as that's the one that was spun by the wheel. The proof is there, it's literally on the screen. So, group 22 is the group up for elimination this time. That's the first thing I want to say and the second thing is the eliminated contestants will appear every five episodes. So the next time they appear since they appeared last episode in BB10, the next time they will appear is in BB15. So get ready for that. That's it from me. I will see you all in BB12. Viewers, vote using the Google form in the description on who you want to win the immunity token and who you want to be eliminated. The person with the most elimination votes will be deflated and sent to the parade warehouse. See you all in the next episode.